hunting friends and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and so happy to be with you today. We are going to showcase a stamp set that we just love and it is called Countryside Corners. I'm going to show you two very different ways to use the dies that are in this bundle and I know you're just going to love it. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. So let me show you these dies. They come in like six different dies and we count from the inside out. So like here's our smallest one and we just say one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one is the larger die that I have used to start cutting out the mats for our card that we're going to show you as our first card. So let me show you what I have done. I use the large mat to cut out this size, then I use the next one and then the next smallest one because this one's going to have a beautiful scene that I'm going to create. Now the other thing that I did is I cut out a base card. Now this is just your normal base card that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. And I want to remind you, all our measurements will be listed over on creativemomentsbyg.com. Just go there and click on my blog. Now I decided to go ahead and emboss the front of this panel and I used my Basics 3D embossing folder. So I just ran it through my machine and look at this beautiful embossed front that I have. Isn't that gorgeous? I didn't want too much of an embossed area because I don't want to distract from these beautiful mats that I have that I'm going to lay on the card. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and put down this first mat. Now I am going to use wet glue because I don't want this one raised at all. So let's just go ahead and bring in our glue and get this laid down. Now make sure that you stay with us because I have two more cards to show you after we create these two cards together. So we're just positioning this to make sure that we have the same border around the sides and that it's straight. And now I picked a complementary color, this boho blue, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down on the mat as well before we begin creating our scene by using our stamps. So let's just once again lay this down, making sure that our borders are all the same. And now we can just put this to the side. And because we're gonna stamp off this mat, we wanna go ahead and lay down a piece of paper so that we don't get our table messy. So I'm just bringing in this paper and I'm also going to put some repositional tape here so that we can hold it in place. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the scene and the first one that I'm going to stamp is this beautiful water and I am using the stamps from Ocean Front. We love this because we can create whatever we want using all these different stamps that they have. So I'm going to use Balmy Blue and Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to open those up. And I'm going to stamp the lightest one first. So let's just go ahead and stamp just a little bit. I'm going to stamp right on the bottom. Just tap, tap, tap. So I have that loaded. And now I'm going to turn it over to the top and just bring in the Coastal Cabana. Let's go ahead and stamp that. And we should have a two-tone color. Oh, look at that. So pretty. And now I'm going to bring in pecan pie because I want to stamp some rocks right here. So I'm going to bring in the big rock first to go in the back. And then I'm going to bring in the smaller ones. And I'm going to bring in my crumb cake 
because we actually have a stamp in this set that looks like sand. And I'm just going to put some sand right down here. It kind of has some, I don't know, some little, little dots in it, but it looks like sand. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, look at that. Now the next thing we wanna do is bring in some bushes. So we have different bushes that we can bring in. And I'm going to stamp the smaller ones right up front. Look how cute that is. So cute. And now I'm gonna pick a different green and I'm gonna stamp behind those rocks. We want to go ahead and use a mask to cover these rocks right here so that we can stamp behind them. So to do that, all you need to do is get a post-it note and re-stamp your rocks on that post-it note and then we can cut it out to create a mask. Doesn't have to be exact. but it will just give us an outline so that we can stamp around it. And just cut this out. So we have this cut out. Now, when you use it as a mask, you wanna drop it down just a little bit underneath the original stamped area because that way it'll kind of really look like it's going behind the rock. It'll go in front of it just a tad, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and stamp that. Just stamp it right here. Put just a little bit. And now look at that. It looks like it is actually behind the rocks. So cute. Now we need a little bit of a sky here. So we're going to bring in our blending tools and we are going to use pumpkin pie and crushed curry. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of pumpkin pie down here. And because we want it to be very light, I'm gonna tap off, but I'm also not going to put any pressure on the head of this blending tool. I'm going to hold my fingers back here so that the pressure is very light. Because you just want a hint of sky. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in the crushed curry. Once again, we're going to tap off and keep our finger away from the head of the brush and just barely apply some pressure, just to give it a hint of color. And there we have it. Now, we're gonna Take this and put it on some dimensionals. Now I just took the backing off of the dimensionals and we're just gonna put this straight down. And now I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment, hello, and this is from Layering Leaves. Love this. And we will just cut around the hello. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So just cut this out and we'll add it to the card. Okay, and we're just gonna add this hello right in the sky. So let's add some dimensionals. Take the backing off and just add it right here. Now look at that. Look how pretty that is. The countryside corner dies created these beautiful mats and there is so much you can do with these dies. You can add them to the front of a card like we've done here or you can do something very different. So let's head on to our second card and let me show you a different way to use those dies. 
Now we've taken the largest die in the countryside corner bundle and we have created a top fold. Remember, top folds are 11 by four and a fourth scored at five and a half. And we just added it to the top where the fold is at the very top and we went over just a little bit. See, because we don't wanna cut that fold, we wanna create a smaller card. So I ran it through our machine and we're just going to pop this off and we will have a card. Now look at this. Now we have a top fold card and all we have to do is decorate it. We went ahead and pulled in some beautiful DSP to do that. We are using Masterfully Made and look at this gorgeous DSP. Oh, we love this DSP. All we wanna do now is just go ahead and lay this down on the front of our smaller note card. Now this will fit inside a regular envelope. So we're just gonna lay this down. Now, if you wanted to, because this is so beautiful, you could just decorate this with some sentiments and, and go from there. But we wanted to add an extra level. So we went ahead and we cut the opposite side of this is this really pretty paper. Now this is lemon lime. It looks kind of like a, a very limey kind of color. We love it. We're gonna go ahead and add this right at the bottom right here, and we're just gonna add it with some glue. Now remember I said stay with us because we have two different cards to show you that you can also use to recreate and make your cards. So let's just lay this down. And now to go ahead and just separate this even further, we went ahead and we cut a small strip of cherry cobbler. And we're just going to lay that down with some adhesive. Okay, look at that. I'm loving this. This is so quick and easy. All you used was a die to make this card. All you have to do is remember when you use the die, you need to take the top of it past this fold so you don't cut it in two. And you'll just have this perfect little card. Now we're not done yet. We brought in Enchanted Butterfly. Oh, we love butterflies. You know, I love sunflowers and Maudie loves butterflies. So we took this butterfly and we stamped it and we colored it the colors of the card. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now we also punched out some leaves using our Cheerful Daisies stamp set. So you can see we have a lot of stamp sets going on here, but you can use whatever you have, whatever flowers, whatever leaves you have to recreate this card. We just happen to like this branch right here. So we went ahead and we cut out two of the lemon lime and then one of the pretty peacock. Now we are going to add these with some glue, just like this. And then we're gonna add our butterfly and set it up on some dimensionals. Now on our glue, we want to go ahead and bring in our silicone mat because we're going to use our Nouveau pen. We like to use our Nouveau pen because it's very easy and then we can decide exactly where we want this glue because we don't want it all over. We just want it at the very bottom. So this makes it very easy. You wanna make sure and not go over your card because you want it to fit in an envelope. We're going to pick up our pretty peacock and just put a little bit of glue on it. Just gonna have this coming down over our saying, just a little bit like that. 
And now we're gonna bring our other leaf over on the left-hand side. You can see that this set is so versatile. The countryside corner is a great stamp set to have. So we're just gonna put this right there. And now we're gonna bring in our beautiful butterfly and add it on some dimensionals. I'm gonna take the backing off. And we just need to decide where we want it. I think we want it about right there. Now I have already stamped, you made my day. And I'm going to just slip this right under, right here to where this little branch comes over it. And we're going to just glue this down. So let's get our glue. Look at the front of that card. What do you think about this one? I love it that this still gives you plenty of room to write your sentiment, fits in an envelope, and the colors just pop. So look at the two cards that we made today. Take a moment and leave a comment. Which is your favorite? Do you like this card with the scene on it or one that we used our DSP? Now, whenever you use DSP, of course, it's gonna be very quick and easy. Loving these cards. Now, remember I said, I have two other cards to show you. So let me bring those in. Now, this is a card just like the one we made, except it actually opens like a regular portrait card. So we have our top fold and we have our regular card that opens up to the side. Which of those do you like best? Let us know below. And then we have this one, but look at this beautiful landscape card we made. We used the large die as our mat and then we brought in those beautiful flowers. Look at that. Those colors just coordinate perfectly. So let us know which is your favorite. We love hearing from you. Well, we appreciate your time today. We hope that you were inspired and we hope that you take just a moment and subscribe to our channel. We'll go out, make it a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.